What's up everyone, April here. In this video, I'm gonna walk you through how you can use some SharePoint list formatting capability to create a color-coded calendar view of your Microsoft list. I'll show you how it's done right after this. First things first, if you haven't watched my other videos on SharePoint list formatting, let me give you a quick primer on what it is. SharePoint list formatting gives us a way that we can apply custom styles to our Microsoft list. So what you're seeing here is a training list that I set up. And one of the fields that I have is this technology field. You'll see that I have some color coding going on based off of what value is in this particular field. So if it's Power Apps, it's blue. If it's Power Automated, it's green. And if it's Teams, it's red. This is done using list formatting. We're not changing any of the data itself. We're just applying some custom styles, basically tweaking the CSS using JSON, JavaScript object notation. This particular style is applied on the column level. So if I were to click on this column, go to column settings and format, we'll see that we can apply some styles using the out of the box capability, but we can also go into this advanced mode and manipulate the JSON directly to put in some custom CSS as you're seeing here. So this same SharePoint list formatting capability can now be used in our calendar type views of our Microsoft list. Now let's walk through how we would create a calendar view. So say we have a list that we're using to track training information. So we might have the name of a training course, what technology it aligns to, the instructor, and of course date fields for when the training starts and when it ends. Now rather than viewing this in this list type format, it would be nice to have a calendar view of this, right? So that we can see which training sessions that we have available. So for any Microsoft or SharePoint list, we can create a calendar view of our data. To do that here in our modern SharePoint list, we're going to click on the all items dropdown in the upper right hand corner. This is our view dropdown. And one of the options you'll see here is to create a new view. When we get that, we get the newish modern create view screen for SharePoint and we can choose the type of view that we wanna create. The default is a list view as what we're seeing here, but we can also create a calendar view. So let's create a calendar view that will then go and apply some custom styles to using SharePoint list formatting. So I'm gonna call this view training calendar. And then all we have to do is choose the start date on the calendar and the end date. So for the start date, I'm gonna change this to our training date field. And then for the end date, that will map to the end date field. We can additionally choose to make this a public view. There's two types of views in SharePoint. We have personal views, meaning that if I created a personal view, I'm the only one that could see that, or the default is to make a view public so that everyone that has access to the list can see it. And then if we expand out the more options button here, we'll want to make sure that we choose the title of the items on the calendar. So in my case, it's going to map to the title field that I'm using for the name of the training. But if you want it to map to any other fields in your list, you can simply click on the drop down and select whatever fields you want that to map to that's gonna show in your calendar view. Now I'm gonna click create, and now we'll see our new calendar view of that same list data. I really love this new modern calendar view that we have with SharePoint and Microsoft list, much better than the calendars of old in SharePoint 2010 and those older versions of SharePoint. Now this calendar is pretty cool, but what if we wanted to apply some color coding to it? So if we go back to the list view of the data, you'll see that we have that technology field. And based off of the technology that this particular training course was for, I had some color coding. Wouldn't it be cool if we can apply this same type of color coding to the calendar view? Well, let's take a look at how we do that. So we'll go back to the new calendar view that we created and we'll click on the upper right hand corner where it says training calendar on our view dropdown. And one of the options that you'll see is to format current view. So when we're applying this SharePoint list formatting, we can not only apply it on a particular column in a list, but also on an entire view itself. So when we're manipulating the calendar views like this, we're gonna apply the formatting on the calendar view itself. So we'll select this format current view option, and that will pop open our view formatting panel here on the right hand side. So you see we have this kind of quick start option to apply conditional formatting, or at the bottom, we can always go to advanced mode and put in JSON here. Now I'm actually going to recommend to start with this conditional formatting wizard first. So let's select this. And now we can build out some rules for how we're going to do our conditional formatting. So we have this show values as. If I click that, it's gonna take me into this panel where I can choose if this, then that. So I can choose this drop down column. So I can say if this column, 
Now the first thing you'll notice though is I only have three columns available. When we initially set up this calendar view, it asked me what field I want to use for my start date, for the end dates, and what field I want to map to to show as the calendar item data. And for that I chose the title field. So in this drop down, those are the only fields that I have available to do this conditional formatting. Now I wanted to map to that technology field though. So what I'm going to do is just fill out some fake data basically using this title field, even though I have no intention of using this to do my conditional formatting. So I'll fill this out like I'm pretending that I'm using that technology field instead. And the options that I had on that field are Power Apps, Power Automate, Virtual Agents, and Microsoft Teams. So I'll type in Power Apps for this one. And then below on this Show List Item As, I can click on this color palette and I can see the default colors that I have available to me to choose. So for Power Apps, I'm going to choose this Power Apps purple color and I'll click Save. I'll go back here to my conditional formatting and I'm going to add another rule. This time I'm going to say where title is equal to Power Automate and in my color palette, I'll choose blue and we'll save that one. And we'll just repeat the process. So I'll do another one here where title is equal to Power Virtual Agents. And I'll choose this more tealish color for that. And finally, we'll do one more where title is equal to Microsoft Teams. So now we'll save. Now again, this isn't what we want. And you see that it's not doing anything in the calendar itself because my title field does not match up to any of those values. So here's what we're gonna do. Now we'll go and toggle to this advanced mode here in the bottom left-hand corner. This will give us the view of the JSON itself. So it did a lot of the hard work for us by using that conditional formatting wizard first. If we look at the JSON that it produced for us, we see that it is using the title field. So here's our if title field equals power apps. And then it's applying those color codes. So it's setting some CSS cascading style sheet classes for us. So if I want to trigger off of that technology field instead, I can simply change this field that says title to technology. And I'm going to copy that and you'll notice that it's in square brackets with a dollar sign before the field name. So that's the syntax for targeting a specific column in your formatting. So I'm going to copy that and everywhere that that title is referenced, I'm going to paste that and use the technology column instead. Now that's really all I have to do to be able to really cheat the system and have the wizard produce the styles for me, but be able to target a different column here. So now I can use my nifty preview button. So if you're afraid you're going to break your list, you can always click preview and that will change it only for you. And I can see as soon as I do that, there is my color coding applied. So it's for Power Apps, it's the purple, and for Power Automate, it's blue. So now that it looks like it's working correctly, I can save, and this custom styling, this color coding, is live for everyone that has access to this calendar view of my list now. And that's really all there is to it. That's how simple it is to start adding color coding to your modern SharePoint Microsoft list calendar views. I hope you found this video helpful, and if you want me to do more of these SharePoint list formatting type videos alongside all of my Power Platform content, drop a note in the comments and let me know. And of course, if you did find this video helpful, do me a favor and support the channel by clicking on that subscribe button and hitting the thumbs up. And before you go, check out some of these other videos that I have on SharePoint list formatting. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.